Hello, my name is Emma, and today we're going to be talking about short, quick reads. Uh, I have basically just kindly stolen this idea, <laughs> this concept uh, from Lena Norms. Uh, her video is great, so I'm going to link that below. Please watch. Um, but when I was watching that video, uh, Lena Norms has mostly very different tastes uh, in books to me mostly. So I thought I could do the same but recommend some very different books to all of you. So the idea is that, well, we're, what, 10? 11 days away? No, 10 days away from the end of the year at the time of recording. And that might be just enough time to squeeze in some short reads to help beat your reading goals. Maybe you're just one book away, maybe you need to catch up by a few. So the idea is here are some books that you can read to try and beat that goal. First we're going to be in the fantasy sci-fi genre. Genres that aren't generally known for being short, quick reads, but I have some for you. Number one is going to be Murderbot. The Murderbot Diaries are mostly novellas and you can read these in an afternoon, in a couple of hours. Uh, my Kobo reckons they're a two hour read uh, and they are funny, they're a blast. Uh, don't worry if you're not a big sci-fi person, um, these are pretty easy to get into. Uh, and they're actually my first recommendation for anyone going through a reading slump just because they are, they are so fun and quick to read uh, and it's really motivating to get through a book so quickly that is also so fun to read. Next I'm going to recommend, this is going to be dependent on on where you're up to with Brandon Sanderson if you are a Sanderson reader but that is Miss Bond Era 2. This is probably the longest book <laughs> in the recommendation but this only took me a couple of days to get through. So this is more of an out there recommendation. Um, but I think it took me three or four days to read. So you've got just enough time to read one and maybe two. You don't have to have read Miss Bond Era 1, but obviously most people will probably want to read Miss Bond Era 1. Um, but maybe this is sat on your shelf waiting for the right time to be read and you know we're near the end of the year and it is the right time to get into it. Next is Piranesi. This is a beautiful gorgeous fantasy. It is very different, um, kind of like Jonathan Strange and Mr Norrell. It's uh, which is Susanna Clarke's other book. This is kind of a fantasy for people who aren't necessarily fantasy fans. It is fantasy for everyone. Um, it's also told in the format of journal entries uh, which makes it very readable. The main character is so lovable. He is amazing. <laughs> I love him so much. There is also a bit of a mystery to what the hell is happening here so that keeps you intrigued, keeps you going. I think I read this in a couple of days but if you've got a day off over Christmas, you can read this in one go easily. Manga! Manga is a great way to get those numbers up. You can read a volume in, what, an hour? Maybe a bit less? Um, I'm not going to recommend the usual Shonen Jump stuff because you know. You know. Uh, I'm going to recommend a couple of more chill series that might be more fun for this time of year. Uh, number one is Silver Spoon. This is a new one for me. Um, this is about uh, a student who decides to go to a farming school to learn agriculture. Um, he has no ambitions in farming. He just wants to go somewhere that has a dom. <laughs> so uh, this is very like a fish out of water story, um, kind of slice of life-ish but it does have a lot of realistic farming stuff. Um, 
The other one is Midsummer. If you want a little bit of romance, this is a personal favourite of mine. It is adorable and sweet. Um, and yeah, it's very satisfying romance. And I love the main character. Finally, manga I've not actually started, but I might do before the end of the year. Uh, and that is Chainsaw Man. If you see Chainsaw Man and you think, ah, I, mm, look, Shonen, I'm not in the mood, or do I have to read another Shonen manga? It's, it's very unique. Um, it's very special, very different, and I, I could just go on, um, but I think give it a try. Uh, if if you're okay with the like ultra violence of it there is actually some great character work here uh, so give it a try because I'm probably going to. Next we have some books in translation from Japan. Nakano Thrift Store, this is kind of slice of life-ish as well, lots of little snippets of stories uh, about the people who work at a thrift store. Convenience Store Woman, this is brilliant. I loved it. A very, very short, quick read. Uh, it's about a woman who is in her 40s, I think, and is still working the same part-time convenience store job that she got in her like teens or early 20s. Uh, and it's about how the society around her views people like her for not really having a husband, uh, an ambition for a bigger career. Um, so this is for the people who feel like they're kind of outsiders in society. Uh, it is kind of brilliant. In the miso soup, I don't think there's anything particularly special about this, but it is just, if you want a bit of weirdness, uh, like a complete palate cleanser before the end of the year. Um, as long as you're okay with violence, this does get kind of graphic at times. Um, but basically this is about a tour guide showing an American around the sexy side of Tokyo and the guy turns out to be a serial killer. It's weird, it's <laughs> violent, but uh, it, you might just be in the mood for something a bit weird. Finally, this comes with the highest praise possible. This is the housekeeper and the professor. This is absolutely amazing if you want something. This is the complete opposite of the previous book, but if you want something that is heartwarming and lovely, um, it is a little bit sad at the same time because it deals with someone who has a severe memory loss. So every day, um, or every like, I think, I think it goes down to like every 10 hours, um, this old professor has his memory reset. So every day the maid looking after him has to tell him who she is. Um, so it's very sad, but it is so nice. And these characters are so kind. Um, and I think that's something that is really nice to read at this time of year. Um, so big recommendation. Um, I very easily could have read it in a day, but actually I wanted to savor it as much as possible. Um, but I'll leave how you read it up to you. <laughs> if you have one day for the end of the year that you need to get something read though, you can read it in a day. The Appeal. This might be the longest book on the list, but don't worry. I read it in a day because the format is consists of a lot of like text messages and emails and there is a murder mystery element so it's very very quick and easy to read and get through. Um, this is set in like a small village in England um, and it's all about the members of an amateur dramatic society which if you, if you're English and you you you've known those people before, it is very fun to be around them. <laughs> um, so yeah, if if you're in the mood for a murder mystery, highly recommend this one. You will blast through it. Finally, it's a couple of comic recommendations. Volumes of comics are also great to whiz through this time of year. 
adventure zone whether or not you've listened to the podcast this is good fun it is it is a DD story come to life and with all of the McElroy humor you expect from these guys if you want funny but maybe a little bit dark as well Nimona this is a classic in comics at this point um, Noelle Stevenson went on to be involved in She-Ra. Uh, she is now a fairly big name in comics and cartoons but this was kind of like her first big piece of work um, and it's fantastic. And finally Lumberjanes. I love Lumberjanes. It is so nice. Um, it is basically these girls at summer camp. Um, if you're a mood reader or a seasonal reader, uh, you might want to save this for the summer instead. But um, this is basically a comic that I wish existed when I was younger. I wish I had characters like these in my life back then. So it's nice that I can make up for it now. Ooh, and there we have it. Lots of short books for you to try and get through. I could probably pull a couple more. Um, I think translated books are great for this. Um, I think Japan in particular just has a lot of short snippy books. Um, and that's all the recommendations I have for you today. Please let me know how your reading goals are doing. Um, I'm not doing too bad. I'm weirdly somehow about even with last year's self, even though I was working last year, but not, I, I don't know. I, I'm basically reading the same. It's very weird, <laughs> um, but let me know how you're doing and enjoy the rest of the year. And I will see you in 2023. Probably, maybe, we'll see. I, th I feel like I've said that at the end of like the last three videos. Um, have a great time guys, see you later. Bye.